there are many different types of cancer and many possible risk factors. These are cancer cells and scientists have identified both lifestyle and genetic risk factors for some types of cancer. Carcinogens are anything that can cause cancer to develop. What are the major carcinogens or risk factors for cancers? Ionizing radiation is a major risk factor for cancer. This is high energy radiation. An example of this would be gamma rays that comes from radioactive substances like nuclear waste. X-ray machines give a very low dose of X-ray radiation and the health risks are much lower than the risks of medical conditions if they're not diagnosed and treated correctly. UV rays are a type of radiation from the sun or UV light. Most skin cancers are caused by UV radiation, which is why it's really important to wear sun cream. A way of remembering that all of these are types of radiation, you may notice that each contains the word ray, which sounds like the start of the word radiation. What major lifestyle risk factors are there for cancer? Smoking and alcohol are also risk factors for cancer. Cigarettes can cause lung cancer and there are over 50 chemicals in cigarette smoke that can cause cancer. Consumption of alcohol can cause liver cancer. For the exam, you must know that smoking is a risk factor for lung cancer, but other risk factors such as alcohol may also be told to you in the exam. So how do we know that smoking is a risk factor for cancer? Smoking is the major risk factor for lung cancer. This table shows the number of cigarettes smoked daily compared to the relative risk of lung cancer in males aged 35 to 49. You can see that as the number of cigarettes smoked daily increases, the relative risk of lung cancer also increases. The chemicals in cigarette smoke have been found to cause cancer in laboratory animals. This table, as well as the finding in laboratory animals, helps to show causation between smoking and lung cancer. This correlation can be shown on a graph. Over on the left-hand side, we have the percentage of women smoking aged 35 to 39. And over on the right, the green line shows the annual death rate from lung cancer. This graph shows a correlation. As the percentage of women smoking increases, so does the annual death rate from lung cancer. Just after 1970, you can see that the percentage of women smoking starts to decrease. And shortly after that, the annual death rate from lung cancer also decreases. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, Head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE biology course. See you there.